back at CCM in Bolton, as per the sign, as per the bike. It's another beauty to go on. So this is the CCM Maverick usual drill. Let's have a look around the bike. I'll show you what it looks like. And then we might even go for a test ride and I'll show you exactly what it's like to ride. So stay with me for that. What a beauty. Absolute works of art, these. Let's go. They never fail to deliver, do they, when it comes to styling? So here we've got the CCM Maverick. So very similar in appearance, I think, to the Stealth Bobber that I took out last week. So if you remember the, the frame design on that, this very similar up to this point. So all of that side is the same as the bobber. This is where the changes happen and where the bobber had the small seat, this has got the bench seat, so it's a little bit taller as well. So you've got the same frame coming down on this that you have on the bobber. You've got exactly the same engine. So on this engine, it is the 600cc Husqvarna engine. That's the engine the CCM use with all of their bikes. And it's a really nice power plant to be fair. It's got adequate performance just like the bobber 55 horsepower and it is ample for this type of bike so you can see this is extended and it's extended so you've got the bench seat that makes the bike itself a lot taller than the other one it looks like a bigger bike as well you've also got the different exhaust so this exhaust comes just up the right hand side whereas the bobber had the exhaust on both sides this just comes up and it is just like an off-road bike a flat tracker the exhaust a little bit higher base model just like the bobber starts at about 10 10 and pound but it goes up as high as you want it to depending on the options that you want or the changes that you want yourself in this current form the maverick we've got a single disc at the rear We've got those lovely big spoke wheels with some nice chunky tyres on. Nice spoke wheel on the front, um, again just a single disc on the front. Feels like, like a suede finish but it's a comfortable place to park your backside and the good thing with this bike is because it is a bench seat if you are taller there's no issues really you can just shuffle yourself back a little bit on the seat and you'll be comfortable so this would suit anyone really shorter taller because you've got the bench buttons wise exactly the same as the bobber we've just got your indicator your horn we've got your high low beam we've got your flash nothing on this side so if you remember from the bobber nothing at all your engine start and your kill switch is there the screen again the same that they use on the bobber because we've got the bar end mirrors which i think look brilliant but as far as practicality goes they're not particularly big you can see if i put my hand next to it they are quite small but they look awesome on the bike brilliant when things are behind you at a distance when they're close behind you however you're very limited in what you can see now, this is noticeably taller as well so we're on the bobber that I was on last time from ccm i was flat foot both sides with a bend in the knee this one I am near enough flat foot both sides. I'm probably millimetres off my heel going down on both sides. But that is a big difference. It is taller. Your back is up straight. You're not stretching for the bars. Yeah, I've got no issues with the riding position or the comfort of this bike. It's a really nice place to park your arse. The one thing I have noticed with all of the CCMs I've tried, and that is the actual stand themselves, they are spring-loaded. So the moment the bike is up straight, that just flicks straight up. So you've got to be mindful of that. Certainly when it comes to stopping and you're putting the stand down, just be careful when you get off because if the bike isn't on its side, putting the weight on the stand, it's just gonna flick right back up. I am absolutely roasting. Stood about walking around the bike. I'm getting a proper sweat on because it's another glorious day where there's crap in the UK. However, 
let's make the most of what we've got today let's go for a ride i will tell you how this bike rides we'll make some comparisons to the bobber i know seat position slightly different slightly taller but essentially same engine so let's see what the differences are let's go as soon as you start it up you do notice a different sound it is a lovely little sound to be fair uh, now we're, i'm on a bit of a bumpy road on this to start with and it is quite hard the suspension you do feel all of the lumps and bumps in the road now i'm actually moving on this bike as well i do feel like i'm lent forward a little bit doesn't feel as sat upright as what i thought it was going to be just feel like i'm in a bit of a sporty position with my back it's not uncomfortable it's just different it's quite a light bike i think this one's slightly heavier than the bobber if i'm not mistaken it's about 10 15 kilos heavier than what the bobber was but you don't really notice it in the performance still feels like quite a sprightly bike you've still got the vibration coming through the seat like with the bobber it's not something that really bothers me that because i'm used to riding harley davidson's and things like that so for me it's just a bit of character for the bike and i like character on bikes i'd be quite happy doing work commutes on it when you give it a little bit to get in front of a little uber like that and you get the noise and you get the vibration and you get the thrills and everything that kind of makes motorcycling fun and that is why bikes like this are awesome it's about the fun it's about the noise it's about the drama it's about the smiles it's about the excitement and this bike gives you all of that oh slatteries oh slatteries love a bit of slatteries let's get some cake so let's get back to the bike let's get away from the cake i'm on a diet anyway i didn't know what to expect really i kind of thought it was gonna be like just jumping on the same bike with a different seat but it, it truly isn't they are completely different animals what I am noticing from riding this for a while I've certainly got the bike up to temperature there is a lot of heat coming from this exhaust at the side now where my legs placed I'm not in danger of touching it so it's not going to damage my clothes but when you do stop you do notice that burst of heat just on your leg motorway Ooh. it has got a little bit of power to it so i've got no issues with the power so let's get it up to speed let's see how fast oh in fact no we won't because it's a uk and the motorway always has speed limits doesn't it like these 50 mile an hour speed limits that are on the motorway currently it's comfortable i'm not being blown all over by the wind i'm in a straight line it's quite composed at 50 mile an hour do a bit of an acceleration test here gives you that reassuring vibration on the seat that does nothing more than just tingle in your special gentleman place or if you have a lady place i'm sure it will give you the thrill of your life national speed limit we might be able to open it up just a touch i've just blown the cobwebs off there with a bit of a blast and do you know what at high speed this bike's all right you know certainly in a straight line it goes really really well now the only issue i did find i think it's down to probably the fact that the tires on this are a little bit knobbly but i did find when i was going around the bends i wasn't entirely 
confidence in it and I think that is down to the novels it just felt a little bit loose I felt like I was going its absolute limit and I wasn't going particularly quickly whether I could use this as a, a, a bike I could do loads of miles on I'm not entirely sure because I've been on this bike for an hour or two but I am starting to get a bit bottom sore I certainly didn't feel that way on the bobber I felt like the bobber was a lot more comfortable this just feels like the seat's a little bit harsher it's obviously not as wide as the seat on the bobber and I think that's having a bit of an impact on me so a long like a bike to spend all day riding on I would have to say it wouldn't be my choice I'd be picking the bobber but I like that style of bike anyway this is a, it's a nice bike don't get me wrong but it all boils down to what it always boils down to and that is personal preference it's a fun bike to ride it is a lovely looking machine the only issue for me I would have buying this bike is I love the bobber I think the bobber is a nicer looking bike it's a no-brainer for me whilst I like this bike and taking it on its own merits I think it's a lovely bike but if you were buying a new bike and you were buying a CCM I wouldn't choose this over the bobber the bobber is just a nicer looking bike and more comfortable and that's obviously a personal thing every time I look at the bike in front seeing taffy two wheels on the bobber it just makes me wish I was on that right guys I'm back at CCM I think my GoPro battery died on me on the way in. Ultimately, with this bike, the Maverick, I've got to say, it's a nice, fun bike to be on. I like it, there's loads of character to it, it looks awesome. Ultimately, for me, what this boils down to is, this bike is good, but because I've previously been on the Stealth Bobber, I just couldn't compare the two. The Stealth Bobber's just so much nicer. So in conclusion for me today is, this is good, that's better. If you're interested, obviously have a ride down here, come and speak to the guys. Chris who sorted this for us today, he works 24 hours a day, seven days a week. He's always available, he's just laughing at me over there. But genuinely, he's really helpful, so he can talk you through all the specs. In fact, I'll get him on a sec, he can talk you through the specs of these bikes he'll tell you all the bits that i couldn't remember which is quite a lot so let's just cut to that this is the um, the maverick now ultimately between both bikes you do share very similar characteristics both got the same engine both got the same frame um now ultimately what changes is from the back so it's your subframe and everything else that's in between um so on the maverick you do have the taller um like 19 at the front um wheels and it's obviously a lot more scrambly off-road set up and more focused back to sort of ccm's heritage when it comes down to that enduro uh, tracker flat tracker um, and racing environment it's so ultimately what um what derived from the spitfire um so yeah you've got big big differences but ultimately they're very very similar in in aspects and in ratios and um and everything in between you've still got your cnc carved um full t6 aluminium uh, and carbon fiber everywhere making the bikes extremely extremely light uh, so the bobber is just just over 130 140 kilos um, whereas the maverick because it's got an extra little bit of subframe to it you got a little bit more exhaust a little bit more everything with it the bigger wheels you're about 155 as well and that's close to wet weight as well so when you're out on a road or you stick it on the back of your trailer or your back of your rv it's absolutely perfect it just means that you're getting there um as gillis probably touched on yeah the, the the maverick is a lot again a lot more scrambler it's a lot more upright it's a little bit more uh, rugged as i would have thought um there's a bobber is a little bit more your classic styling of machine you've got the big old um mud guard around the back again that is that is painted carbon fiber so it's not plastic there's no plastics in sight uh it's the same with your tank your tank's not carbon fiber it is alloy um and everything else on there really nice comfortable seat to it it's really good seating position so i'm i'm around six foot 
and it's a really nice comfortable position for me so you've got both feet sort of sat there um, really nice ergonomics everything's all been set out and designed by our team to make sure this bike's absolutely perfect for where you need it to be you can customize this is ultimately ccm's bread and butter is where you're customizing the bike so you, you're picking your own paint color you're picking you know what anodizing you want if you want your yolks um, to be black if you want like, a different color you can customize it and you can get that exactly where you want it to be um, we've had a customer on a ferrari who had a, i think he had a silver ferrari with a yellow pinstripe down the front of it um, and it's ultimately what we copied and redesigned for his bike um, which really made um, really made that difference means parts up both together they look fantastic uh, yeah, you've got uh, options of obviously having billet um, reservoir holders, billet covers, uh, billet sprockets, um, carbon covers that are on here in a way. Um, and you've got such a big choice of changing your bike and making it out to you what, how you want it to be. Uh, so yeah, come down, try the bike out, see what you think. Okay, so that was Chris. Thank you very much for that. So just as he said, come down here because if nothing else, they've got an amazing coffee machine and you can treat yourself to a cappuccino just like I did. Right, guys, I'm off. Hopefully I'll be back here soon. I like the CCMs. Catch you on the next one. Laters.